YouTube. Today I'm doing a um, another gas mask video. Um, today it's not an individual gas mask. It's a um, collection. So just showing you what all I've gained um, over a month or so. I don't know. Um, so the first one I got was my Soviet Russian GP5. Here, let me move the lights. <coughs> okay. Um, Sepix, I finally found some lighting around my house, so yeah, um, so this is the Soviet Russian GP-5 gas mask, um, this is a civilian model, um, this is not a respirator, this is a actual gas mask, um, so I have two filters for it, I have a standard GP-5 filter, and a, um, Israeli military filter, so it's not the standard Israeli filter. Um, so, yeah, they both are 40 millimeter threads. I especially like the Israeli because um, it has no paint, so this paint, it will rub off onto here. So, um, I like that one on my GP5 the best, but it's a lot heavier too. So, um, this is the mask I can remove this filter. And I'll show you it both with this filter, without the filter, and with the GP5 filter. So this is the mask on. This is without the filter. Okay, so um, this is my Soviet Russian GP-5 gas mask. Um, it's black, obviously. Um, it does tend to get quite hot in there. This is this is a helmet style gas mask. So um, right now I have the standard GP5 filter, um, and now with the Israeli, this is without the filter. This is with the Israeli. It's a lot heavier, um, a lot harder to wear. So this is my Soviet Russian GP-5 gas mask. Um, pretty big eye lenses. Um, not not too big though. Um, this is civilian, so again it doesn't have optical lenses. Um, it has a little nose piece thing right here. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the inside of the mask and the internal piece stuff and all the valves. So inside the mask, there's um. Wait, let me show you all the valves first. So first, we have one XO valve right here, and then we have the. Uh, then we have the um, in in inlet valve, the exhale valve right here. Just standard thin rubber. Um, I wouldn't bend it because then that makes it like stick up sometimes. Sorry about my hair, it's crazy after I take off a gas mask. So um, yeah, this is my Soviet Russian GP-5 inside of the mask. Pretty standard. Um, oh, this is a really fun one. Show you in. Oh, if I just do this, it, it's so this is inside of the mask. So I'm using a light. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I can't show you, but these things right here that my nose is touching, that's for if you don't have the anti fog, um, then it pulls off all the fog in the lenses. 
So that's the inside of the mask. Um, to don the mask and secure it. Secure it. Um, so when you're putting on the mask, what you want to do is you want to put it on with the filter and cover that. So after you've covered that, just uh, breathe in. So then um, when you're taking off the mask, cover the exo valve just like this and breathe out. So when you do this, this pressurizes the mask and that makes a vacuum tight seal. Um, so yeah. And then when you do this, this depressurizes it so that that exposes, that pushes air out. So when, like after you get out of gas, um, you would do this and breathe out and then it would go out the sides and stuff so it depressurizes the mask. Um, so yes, that's the Soviet Russian GP-5 and this is how you fold it. You take it and then, oh geez, I'm spending six minutes on this one mask. You take it like this and you fold it like that and then you just fold it like this. In the end, you should have something that looks like this. One lens is completely open on the other side. This is like this. So again, have the mask like this. You fold it to where it looks like this. So this side of the mask right here is a little bit over the eye lenses. And then you just fold the top piece over it. So then you have this full one and then this covered one. So <coughs> So that's how you uh, properly don, secure, fold um, a GP5 gas mask. Now on to um, one of my favorites. All of them are my favorites. My Israeli civilian. Um, this is not. Oops. This is not the standard Israeli filter. As you can see, it's thicker compared to the GP5 th bigger. Um, filter. It's a little bit bigger than the GP5 uh, filter. Um, not much. Still bigger. Um, right here is the inlet valve. And then inside of here is the exo valve right here. So you can, you can breathe out from there. Um, it also has a voice emitter under the um, inlet valve. Under here. Here, after you under here, after you take off the um, this cover right here, so that's for cleaning it and replacing the exo valve. But the sad thing is, you can't replace the voice emitter. So if it breaks, you can't replace it. Well, I don't think you can at least. Let me see. No. Um, so yeah, here's the inside of the mask. another black one so I know you can't see this so it has oh uh, no you can uh, an inlet valve two eye lenses uh, nose cup uh, nasal cup and a chin seal um, so to uh, to loosen the mask up what you do is you loosen like this and loosen like this and this and this so then you uh, hold the mask like this when you're putting it on. Dip your chin in first and pull over. So now this one's going to be a little easier for you to hear me because I have a voice in there. So then you pull the straps, these two at the same time, and you get these and pull. So um, it has a drinking tube right here. I don't have the straw in um, canteen. But if I did, um, you would, if you did, you would screw the, um, the straw onto here, and then you would, um, you would just, um, there would be a little pinch thing. After sticking it in your canteen, you would pinch it, and then you would tip the canteen over and go, and you would suck in the water. But to put the straw in your mouth, you, um, you screw it in, you take it like this, and then you um you bite it you you bite you bend it until it's in your mouth and then you bite down on it um 
you, and then you tip your canteen over and drink from it. So, this is what it looks like with the filter. No, wrong one. Drying off my straw. So, it has pretty big eye lenses. It has optical lenses. Um, so, you tighten this. This isn't like these. You have to pre-tighten this. Um, it's not like an American mask where you go, whoop, whoop. Um, so, yeah. It does get sort of itchy in here. Um, but, yeah. So, this is the Israeli one. Uh, store it. What you do is you get your filter. You sort of unzip your mask, I guess. I don't know. And then you get your filter. You stick it right in here and this is the correct way to do it um just in case if i'm wrong um i'll be nice so you get your filter you stick it inside the mask you pull these tight to where it's all the way to the back of the head harness then um you pull it tight do that and then you tuck them into the um the mask so then um that's how you store the Israeli civilian gas mask. You, um, hold on. Sorry, my cat. Um, so, then you just put it in its bag, and there you go. So, next we have the, um, Soviet Russian, another Soviet gas mask. The Soviet, where's my Jeep? Oh, there it is. Um, we have the PBF EO19 gas mask. Now this mask is my favorite because um, you can take this off. You can um, unscrew the voice emitter right here. You can unscrew that to do this. So just unscrew it like that. Then you can replace the voice emitter. So this is just the voice, this is the voice emitter, thin piece of plastic, Ugh, dog, don't get it. So yeah, um, <coughs> sorry, um, so this is it, so you just put it in there, and then put the, put the little ring back on, screw the lid thing on again, and the cool thing about this mask is you don't have to um, blow out. You just um, you just have to pressurize it. So there's no depressurizing. You just pull it off. So um, if you are a Soviet and you just happen to be watching, well, if you're Russian in general, the Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore. So if you're Russian and um, you know anything about this mask, Please leave in the comments below because I really want to know um, if you're supposed to depressurize this mask or if you're supposed to just pull it off. So this is what the mask looks like on the inside. I'm sorry guys. So yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. This is what it looks like with the uh, mask on. I'm not taking the filters out. You guys can go watch my assembly video. Um, so yeah, it, it shows the filters. Um, just to put it on, just dip your chin in first and then pull over. Adjust it to where it fits you. So if no air is coming out the um, nasal cup, then um, then it's proper on your face. So to pressurize it, you just put your hands over the cheeks and breathe in. So that's how you pressurize it. So like I said, I don't think you need to depressurize this mask. You just take it off. Um, so this is what the mask looks like on the bottom, the side, 
the top. So this is a this is a pretty good scary mask. This is what I'm gonna use for Halloween. Um, so yeah, that's my gas mask collection. Hope you enjoyed. Um, so yeah, bye YouTube.